Today cows and farmers are faced to produce more and more milk every day. In order to maintain this high level of production, farmers need to feed the animals with a very high quality of forage. So normally you need two months for a good fermentation. If you open the silo earlier, you have some problem related to growth of eastern mold or the fermentation going in a bad way. So in order to solve uh, this problem and help farmers, we went back to the lab and we tried to select a possible combination of different strains or bacteria that can help us on opening the bunker earlier. I am Taco Reimers. Um, I'm a Dutch dairy farmer. Before we start with Silosolf, uh, we have to wait, uh, I think, two months uh, before we start with feeding. And right now, if we want, we can st start uh, after two weeks with uh, feeding, then the fermentation is finished. Our experience with uh, Silosolf, the last two years that we used is, uh, is good. Um, before we uh, throw away too much food, and um, that's what we don't want because food is expensive. And um, right now uh, the, food, the food is uh, fresh and cold uh, the next morning when we uh, feed again. And that's what we want. My name is Hannah Hansen. I'm an associate professor at the University of Copenhagen, Department of Veterinary and Animal Sciences. We recently concluded a series of experiments using silage that was inoculated and silage that was not inoculated. This is in the laboratory where we get silage packs and when we open them, we're challenging them, we're giving them an aerobic shock. The silage that was inoculated looks fine, whereas the silage that was not inoculated very quickly, within a few days, gets visible mold, and smells very bad and is a bit slimy to the touch. We subsequently test both of these silages in the in vitro degradation system to see if the digestibility is different. There's no question that the silage that had inoculum on it performed better than the silage that was not inoculated. The most important uh, possibility for a silage inoculant is if it can increase intake. If you can get the animals to eat more, then you can get more milk, more meat, more products. There are, of course, perfect farmers in a perfect world that can perfectly ferment. The problem is that there are a lot of ordinary farmers in an ordinary world that can benefit a great deal from the fermentation products or from the inoculants. So in order to improve the quality of the feed when we make the silage, we can apply our natural microbial solution. The fast fermentation preserves the important nutrients and prevents the growth of eastern mold. In case of feed shortage, the dairy producer is able to access the feed early whilst also maintain feed's freshness.